In this video, we're going to be looking at the solution for question two, part A. Here, they're asking us to solve for P in the equation below. Now, if you notice, we have a two here is multiplying P plus five in brackets, minus seven is equal to four P. And that's an easy two marks. I'm just going to walk you through this step by step. So you're very clear at the end. Now, here we have two multiplying. So basically what you're doing, you're going to use the two and you're going to expand this bracket. Okay. Whenever you have a bracket in an equation, that's what you do. You try to get rid of the bracket. So I'm going to say two times P and then I am going over here to say two times five over there. Okay, my friends, that's what I'm basically doing. Now, if you notice um, two times P, that will give us a two P. Okay. And two times positive five will give us a positive 10. Okay. Now, if you notice seven is being subtracted out there. So I'm just going to write back my minus seven and that is equal to four P. Okay. Now, I have a 2p plus 10 minus 7. If you notice, 10 and 7, they are numbers, okay? It's what you call like terms. So we can subtract these two. So I'll be left with here now, guys. I'll be left with 2p, 2p, a positive 10 minus 7 will leave us with a positive 3. And that is equal to 4p, okay? Now, I need to take all my p's to one side of my equation and I need to um, take the numbers to the other side. Okay. So since I have a 2p here, I am going to bring over my 4p. Okay. So I'm going to say m subtract 4p from both sides. So I'm going to say, okay, 2p. And remember, this is positive. So when it comes over, it must be negative 4p. Okay. 4p plus 3. And that is equal to 4p minus 4p, my friends. Okay. Remember what you do to one side of the equation, you must do it to the other side. We, we subtracted 4p there. So we have to minus 4p there. Okay. We know that a positive 4p will cancel out with a negative 4p. So 2p minus 4p, that will leave us with a negative uh, 4 from 2. We're left with a negative 2p plus 3. And that is equal to, we have zero left over there. Okay, my friends. Now, if you notice, we need to take over the three. The three is being added. So let us now subtract three from both sides. So we have a negative 2p, okay? And we are going to have to, since the three, the three is positive, we are going to have to subtract three from both sides. So we have a positive three minus three is equal to zero minus three. Three, okay, so here now, my friends, we know that a positive and a negative three will cancel out. So here we are left with two p, negative two p. That is negative two p must be equal to because the three is gone, and we have zero minus three. That will leave us with a negative three. Okay, now we need to move the two. If you notice, two is negative two here is being multiplied by the p so we have to do the opposite of multiplication which is to divide through by negative two okay negative two therefore my friends therefore our answer is and let's just make a note over here quickly therefore our answer is a negative two will cancel out with a negative two leaving us with a positive because a negative to a negative divided by a negative will leave us with a positive p and that is equal to a negative divided by a negative that will leave us with a positive three upon two or you could simplify it further to say that is that p this is the same thing as saying p is equal to two into three goes once remainder one upon two okay so whichever way you feel free to express your answer, it's the same. Feel free to leave a message or a comment on our website at willedutech.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.